Hello, 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 and welcome to another Budget With Me video. In today's video, I will be budgeting paycheck number one. I also have what I hope is a good update on the Coastline loan. So stay tuned and let's get into it. So today's date is July 7th, 2023, and the gross amount of this paycheck was $3,910. As far as tax withholdings, there is $1,019 being withheld from this check. Every week, I, not every week, every time I get this paycheck, I do have $21 held for my FSA. If you don't know, a FSA is a flexible spending account and it allows you to utilize tax-free dollars for qualified medical expenses. So you could use it for your co-pays or even if you have, um, certain medical supplies that you need. For instance, I bought eye drops um, a few days ago and I was able to use my FSA card to buy those eye drops. And that's like straight from the grocery store. It wasn't any type of prescription or anything. So I don't know. I like to, I like that I have that option available to have those tax-free dollars. Any way I can save on taxes is a win for me. <laughs> Next up is my 401k and I have $235 that is going to, for this paycheck, it's actually pre-tax. So whenever I take this money out down the line, I will have to pay taxes on this money. Next up, we have tithing. I tithe off the gross, so I will be tithing $391 of this check. And then we have our mortgage. I will be putting aside $585. And I say putting aside because with my mortgage, I can't like prepay the mortgage. They hold all my payments, like if I were to piecemeal the mortgage payments, they're not going to apply it to the loan. They're going to hold it in a suspense account and then apply it once the full mortgage payment has been collected. And so I just put it away in my savings account until I have the full payment amount and then I make the mortgage payment. Next up is car insurance. That is $112. Um, and that's insuring two vehicles. I don't know if that's a good price or not, but it is what it is. Next we have my, I don't have any of this on this paycheck. So we're going to head on down to the debt section and the only thing here is my student loans and I paid $341 um, on my student loans every week. And so that is temporary until federal loans go back into effect. And then that amount may go down. It may not, but it's possible that that amount will go down. Um, I'm not making a payment on the cosine loan today, but I do want to update you all and let you know that I actually had a conversation with the person who I had co-signed the loan for, and that person has agreed to refinance the loan. So those of you that believe in the power of prayer, please pray that that person honors what they said they were going to do. There was no hesitancy from that person. There was no, um, it wasn't hard, like any type of, um, you know, conversation with him. It was just like, I need you to refinance this loan without my name on it. And the person said that 
they would do it. So we'll see what happens. I will keep you posted. I did offer the person a lump sum to cover like the first four months of payments. The person said that wasn't necessary and we'll see what happens. So just be prayerful that that goes through. I'm definitely praying about it and asking God to avenge me. Um, if you haven't read Luke 18, it's a great passage to read. So that's the word I'm standing on. Luke chapter 18. Okay. So next is my water bill. So every week I put aside $12 towards my water bill and that is sufficient whenever I do pay my water bill on a quarterly basis. So that is that. Then we have one of my least favorite bills, which is the cable bill. It is internet cable and phone all together, but it is too high in my opinion, especially when... <laughs> My cable was out for, well, not my cable. Well, I, I guess everything was out. I wasn't really concerned about the cable, but I know my internet was out for a strong hour and a half the other day during the work day, was not able to work. So, you know, stuff like that. The cable company doesn't care. You know, they're still going to charge me my full amount every month, whether the service is working or not. So I need to switch to Verizon. Next up is my water line. That is $9. Then I have filters, my HVAC filters, my refrigerator filter, that is $5. Then I have, let's go down to here, my term life insurance, that is $27. And Next up is car maintenance. I finally switched that from the big bill section over to here. I need to put the internet cable and phone over under the big bill section, but hey, maybe I'll do that next week. But car maintenance is $7. Then we have flood insurance, that's $9. HOA is $25 every week. Then groceries is $150 every week. Dining out, $25. And let's see what else. No clothing, no supplies, gas. We've been doing really good on gas with, with my husband not having to commute right now. And so I'm going to take that down. It's usually 120 per week. I'm going to take it down to 100 But I don't even think that we've been spending the whole $100 every week. So that is helpful. All extra money is helpful. So next we have gifts. That is $30 every week. That goes towards birthday gifts, Christmas gifts, all of the gifts. Then we have children's activities. That's $15 every week. We have the kids' birthdays, that's $10 every week. Then we have my husband's 40th, I'm going to set aside $100 for that. I usually do that from the other paycheck, but I'm going to add a little bit more. It's right around the corner, not, not literally, but, you know, I'd rather be more prepared <laughs> And I have to scramble when the time does come. So there we have that. Then let's head on down to here. Our emergency fund. So I'm going to put $200 in our emergency fund this week. Um, we are still in the rebuilding process. So, um, but it's kind of at a more comfortable level. It's really not where... We want it to be, but it's at a comfortable level. I think, you know, what's comfortable for everybody is different and varies. 
I think I want to get to a point where there's like a certain minimum that we just don't go below. Um, that's the goal. I think that that will help us um, just to feel secure and comfortable. So it definitely is a lot more comfortable than it was in the past, but it's still not where it was initially and it's not where we want it to be. So last but not least, I have $217 left. This is a zero base budget. So I am going to put that $217 towards my debt snowball. And that is it for this week. That was a quick one. I hope that this motivates you. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and like that video and subscribe to my channel. Also turn on the notifications so you won't miss any videos coming up. I will be doing a debt confession update. So stay tuned for that where I will be updating my debt balances for the week. As usual, I definitely have made some progress. Um, so be sure to check that out. Thank you for watching. Once again, thank you for all your comments. I appreciate it and take care. Be blessed.